Now we'll pause for a minute and kind of describe what is about to happen. So you've got this frame now, and now we've got these feet on, so it's less like to scratch whatever you're building it on. Still have to remember our orientation now, right? We've only just pulled this out. So the orientation, right, is this is the front of the printer, right? There used to be a, a, a cover here. We took it off. So this open end here, this is the front of the printer. And then now we're looking at the printer from its left side. The way the printer is going to look when we're done is there's this opening here. That's where our vat's going to go. There's this end here. Linear stage is going to come in like this on the top, All right? So the linear stage is going to come here. And then we've got this bracket. The electronics are going to go here. Projector is going to go here. And then we've got this hole here. And this hole is where all the wiring is going to come out the back and then connect up to your computer. Um, additionally, when the projector is here, it's going to be a fan. We're going to mount a fan right here uh, to match a cutout that's on the side. First thing we're going to do then is put on the linear stage. To do that, we're going to need this back supporting steel plate. There may be a white protective film on it. Um, if there is, we can take off the film now. And then what we're going to do is set up eight of the nine screws. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to put the screw here into the hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then on the other end, sorry, we're going to put them in through the front. And then on the back side, we're going to take the T snut to the T slot nut and put it on. There's a particular orientation that you want the T slot nuts to face, right? So when you look at these T nuts, they are uh, they kind of have a slope, right? So when you look at it from the side, they kind of have a, have a slope. And you want the slope facing out the back, right? And so you want this part here to the flat side that's a little bit raised. You want that against the plate, and then you'll screw into that. Um, there's a pretty good picture in the manual that shows what it looks like when it's done. So I'll push it through the front here and on the back. The tapered end sticks up and I'll screw this in. And we're not going to put these in um, totally tightly uh, because we still are going to need to align these to get in. And so I'll put these in um, until they're not quite flush, a little recessed but they're definitely going to be loose because we're going to keep on tightening this once we get everything aligned. So I'm going to go and first put let me get eight of these guys out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got there's one here already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight. One screw here also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One too many. There we go. So I've got these ready. I'll just push all these screws through and then I can screw them all at once. So
a couple of these in there and then tapered in facing up. Let's get these held on. Remember we're not screwing these in tightly. We're just kind of getting them a couple of turns onto the end. There we go. Three more. One, two, three. Right. Let's just do two. And then the last one here. Okay. Now, looking at the instructions, we're going to put the bill plate we'll put the bill plate on. So what's going to happen is you see there's like a little space here. So we're going to be um, one, two, three, four, five, six. These six will be aligned. These two will be in here. These two will be over here. These two are going to go over here. And the way that these T slot nuts work is they're going to, we're going to have to align this, the uh, kind of the long end of the nut to fit into the groove here. And once they're in the groove, once we tighten it down, it's going to cause this nut here to kind of turn to the side a little bit, right? And so when this turns to the side, that's going to lock the nut into the, into the groove. Um, so I'm going to, these four here on the sides are gonna go in here, right? No, oh, one here, one at the top. So that means I'm gonna have to have the lower one vertical, the upper one horizontal, lower one vertical, upper one horizontal, top two will be horizontal. There we go. So they'll be snug. And here we go, they're, they're in their slots. So now they're in their slots. I can Tighten these guys up. Out of habit, whenever I'm putting together an assembly that's got a lot of nuts, I don't tighten them like fully all the way. So these aren't super tight, right? You can see I can move it a little bit. And this is just in case, right? I still got two more things I've got to fit onto. I'm not 100% sure whether or not this is going to be exactly the right spot. So I'm going to leave it a little bit loose, right? It's not going to fall out. Um, but I haven't, I, they're only just kind of touching. Um, so that if I need to make any small adjustments, I still can. We're going to put the linear stage on. There's a couple of things we got to do to get ready to put the linear stage on. Because currently these triang these uh, triangle um, these angle things are tight for shipping to fit shipping, and we don't want them quite this way. We want need them loosened up um, in a particular way. So we see that the way that this triangle works is that the one angle one screw goes into the T slot on the side of the linear stage, um, and that uh, holds on and controls the height of this guy. And then there are, there's the other angle, the other uh, uh, T-slot nut over here, and that's going to go in to these two holes here, right? And so there's two holes here that we're going to, that grant us access to the um, aluminum extrusion underneath. And then at the same time, we've got 
these two remaining T-slot nuts sticking out from the back, and those are going to go into these two grooves here. Now these two holes are tricky. They're tricky because we have a piece of um, our steel up here is also sitting over the aluminum, right? And that means that our nut needs to extend all the way down into this channel. In order for us to get this down in here, these two bottom nuts are going to need to be really loose. Another thing is that there's this kind of cutout. You'll see that on the profile this way. We form kind of a, a U or a C here, right? Because this stepper motor sticks out and then it comes in and then it comes up again, right? And this cutout is important because this distance of this cutout is exactly the thickness of the uh, aluminum extrusion plus the steel plate on top. Um, and that means we're going to need to get us some clearance in order for us to be able to slide this guy in and then we're going to have to push these down. So what do we do to prep, right? Because we don't want to have to adjust these once we are, um, once we're in place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this and I'm just going to bring this up some amount, like, uh, you know, a couple of centimeters and then tighten it back down. Oops, there we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to loosen this, raise it up a bit, and then tighten this back down. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to loosen these, the nuts on the bottom facing ones. And I want to bring them out pretty far. Um, I don't want them to fall accidentally, but I am going to need a good amount of clearance to get reach down and grab across both the steel plate and get into the T-slot channel. So I'm going to take these out you know, until they're almost coming off and maybe just like one turn um, attached. That'll give me the maximum clearance. Now I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to snake this cable down. All right, I'm going to get this all the way down. Now that's all the way down, I should be able to push this back. And then I'm going to have to align these two T-slots to be, these nuts to be totally vertical. Totally vertical. And then get those, get that in, right? So now, this guy's in, it'll be flush against the build plate in the back, and the downward facing T-slot nuts here should be hovering right over that, um, the, the cutout. I'm going to align the T-slot nuts, the downward facing nuts now, and align them so that they are aligned to the cut out in here and then I'm going to loosen this just a bit and lower it in and if all goes well I'll just lower it straight into the channel and then I can tighten this guy up I haven't done the other side yet so I'm not going to get this super tight just kind of loosely tight and then I'm of course, I'm hitting this thing here, so I'm going to have to... Just barely hand tight. All right. And I'm also going to get the back part here. These guys I'm also going to get... Barely snug. So the... If I can still move them. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for this backside here. Now this thing is kind of in place. So I'm going to, and you probably can't see, I'm gonna do the same operation. I'm going to loosen the 
side nut here and then lower this into that channel and then I'm going to tighten up first in the bottom and then I'm going to tighten up the side guide that I loosened. All right, and now this should be pretty pretty snug. We've got the channel in. This is probably one of the hardest jobs getting this whole thing done. So if you are actually going, once you get ready to actually build, you want to review the pre-steps, right? The steps where I move the angle blocks up a bit and then got everything loose because that getting the preparation for the linear stage right will make this job way, way easier. So I've got everything in here now. I can now go through and I'll progressively tighten down all of these. Back, now I can go down and make sure that everything here is nice and tight. All right, so all these guys that I didn't fully tighten before just so I can move them a bit. I'll fully tighten them down. Okay, and we are good on the linear stage.